Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. I hope you guys are all doing great. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, please drop me a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and put post notifications on so you guys don't miss a video. And in today's video, guys, we are going to be going over Resident Evil Reverse. Now, Resident Evil Reverse was supposed to launch alongside Resident Evil Village, and it was supposed to be free as long as you bought Resident Evil Village. And that was supposed to release May 7th, 2021. That was the first initial release date. But then it got pushed to, uh, I think it was the summer of 2021. But then they finally delayed it to 2022. Which, it's finally 2022. It, I said that pretty bad. But it's 2022. We're about, what, two months now into it? Because uh, it's February 1st when I'm posting this video. Um, what is Resident Evil Reverse? Resident Evil Reverse is an online third-person brawler that looks likable and successful than other Resident Evil multiplayer games. It's a six-player death matches. You play as various characters from the series, and you have to own your skills and prove you're the best. Now, that's a pretty good description right there. But what I really want to go over, guys, is pretty much talk about where has it been, where is Resident Evil Reverse. Let me give you guys my honest thoughts, like where it's been, why is it probably been delayed a couple times. Now, uh, the, the game was revealed in January of 2021 with a reveal trailer showing off the free-for-all deathmatch gameplay. Uh, RE fans weren't really feeling the game because of Capcom's track record with multiplayer spin-offs of Resident Evil games. They're usually poor received. I mean, this is true for a lot of reasons. Resident Evil, um, what was it? The one, the multiplayer game mode, which was part of Resident Evil 3 uh, remake, that wasn't really received well. And then we also had like previous multiplayer spin-offs with the Resident Evil title, which what we got uh, Umbrella Core or Umbrella Chronicles or something. No, not Umbrella Chronicles, Umbrella Core. And then we also got the Resident Evil um, uh, Operation Raccoon City. I haven't played these games in years, mind you. I did play Raccoon City. I did play Raccoon City back in the day. I had a friend who let me borrow it, and uh, I have not played the game since, but all I remember it was pretty okay. Um, nothing too crazy. But Resident Evil Reverse has been delayed several times, and the last time was to 2022, as I mentioned. Now, there hasn't been any updates since then, and I'm gonna be going over why I think that it was delayed several times and why we'll be getting it this year. We will be getting it this year for sure, but I'm gonna be giving you guys my honest thoughts when it will be released. Three things I really wanna preface in this spot of the video, and that is the content, performance, and release date thoughts, right? Okay, so jumping into content, the reason why I think that it was delayed and it has to do with content. I don't think a lot of people were pleased with what they saw for Resident Evil Reverse. Now we did get a beta which I think a lot of people were mixed about. Some people really praised it for what it was. It's not something super spectacular like you're not going to be blown away like nothing like that. But I don't think that was really Capcom's initial thought. I think it would have been something that you can go into, spend a couple hours, come back out of. Nothing crazy but with the past track record that Capcom has with the past with the past track record that Capcom has with their other multiplayer games I don't blame them because we did get some pretty piss poor received games in the past with the Resident Evil title and I think there was one Resident Evil game that was pretty okay and that was like multiplayer but that was back on the PS2 now I'm pretty sure that they do want to give the game more or I don't know what to call it the add-on game I want, I'm pretty sure they want to give the game much more content than it needs and pretty much what I'm trying to say is give it a lot more content so it's not stale at launch, give it something that can benefit in the long run, something players aren't asking for for too much because if it's something that's really fun and something that's really praised then they're going to be asking for more content for this and I'm pretty sure it could be turned into like a live service or something. Um, I wouldn't want it to be turned into one but that's the thought that I'm getting right now. Um, but yeah, and the second one is performance. I'm guessing since it is going to be releasing on PS4, Xbox One, PS5, and Xbox Series S and X, that they want to utilize their hardware and make sure that the capability is there. And what I'm trying to say is that the performance is right on launch. 
much. I mean, 2021 was so bad when it came to AAA games. I'm talking about Battlefield. I'm talking about Vanguard. Halo was just right. A lot of people aren't going to agree with me on that. Halo Infinite was just right. That game was so perfect for me. I mean, not the story, but I'm not talking about Halo in this video, but that game was received well, and the performance was just great. They delayed a year. They delayed the game a year. Why couldn't these AAA games do it? Uh, right? So, I'm guessing that they want to make the performance for the games really well, or the consoles really well. And that's just my initial thought, guys. I mean, you guys could probably think something different. And now I'm going to be getting to my release date thoughts. Now, I'm guessing, and this is just an entire guess or theory, uh, the game will be released alongside Resident Evil 8's first DLC. That's what I'm guessing, because if it was first supposed to be... Excuse me. If it was supposed to be first released alongside Resident Evil Village and it got delayed an entire year, then it's smart to just release it at the time that it gets its first, daily, uh, first DLC because it would generate so much hype and it would be pretty good marketing, in my opinion. Now, other than that, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video. Sorry if I said it. I'm reading off a. I've been trying this something new, but I'm reading off a notebook. And um, I'm writing all my thoughts down and I'm saying everything that I'm trying to say. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say for this video, guys. I hope you guys definitely did enjoy it. And if you guys did, please drop me a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.